What's going on guys, Truth Justice here. Uh, I just want to say before the video starts, if you like the content on my channel and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon if you feel so you can always get notified when my latest content comes out. And also you can become part of the Truth Justice crew and you can leave comments and you can and you can help decide how further my channel goes and whether and what I'll be more, more or less talking about and sharing my thoughts on for future uh, videos. But let's get the video started. Um, for those of you that know, Zack Snyder is no longer a uh, director for Justice League 2 or anything DC related. Um, and uh, now, for the past few months, with the whole release the Snyder Cut, he's been slowly releasing um, answers def uh, to questions that people are asking him on Twitter on his vision of what happened in, um, the, in uh, the DCEU. And one of them that came out, uh, I believe, two years ago was by Warner Brothers about um, which Robin was killed. And they said the obvious, it was Jason Todd. They're sticking by the comics. Although, Zack Snyder came out on Twitter and people were asking him, uh, is this true? Was it Dick Grayson? Because in Suicide Squad, there's a deleted scene where Batman says in, to Harley when he pulls her out of the water, Joker took something important from me. Now, I'm going to take something from him. And he says it to Harley. And people were thinking... Is it Jason? Zack Snyder replied to this guy on Twitter about 10 hours later saying, Richard. And for those of you that don't know, Richard John Grayson is Dick Grayson. The first Robin, aka Nightwing. Now, I don't honestly, it's an interesting take on um, what happens with uh, Robin, Dick Grayson. Personally, I would have preferred, just because I'm used to it, and what happens is awesome. I would have preferred Jason Todd still be the one that's killed, just because I think it's I think it's a more, it's just a, such a great story in the comics of what happens. I mean, again, this I don't know where they were gonna take this. It would have been very interesting to make it seem like you know the first Robin died, so Batman never had another Robin again ever. He never had a psychic ever again. I mean, plus, we did see the tombstone in um, Batman vs. Superman. Even in the trailer, you see it, but they don't really, like, um, they don't really let you see it. It's like a quick show, and you kind of did see Richard John Grayson. But, anyway, it was, I don't know, I'm not, it's not that I think it was, it's not like a revolutionary idea, but I'm not thinking, like, it's a terrible idea either. I would, I am curious to see what's, how Snyder was going to take it. And um, if he was going to ever bring Dick Grayson back, like Jason Todd was brought back via via Lazarus Pit, not not Crisis on Infinite Earths. That was a little... His way he came back was interesting, but I like the Lazarus Pit uh, story better. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Drop your thoughts in the comments. What do you think Zack Snyder was going to do with Dick Grayson as a dead Robin? Do you think he was going to leave him dead to build a more dramatic case of why Batman never had another Robin? Or do you think he's going to bring him back and do a bit of a Red Hoodish kind of thing? Uh, drop a thoughts in the comments of what you think of that. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you really love my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.